a digital wristwatch was set accurately at 8.30 am and then lost 2 seconds every 5 minutes. What time was indicated on the watch at 6.30 pm of the same day if the watch operated continuously till that time? How will we approach this? What is happening here? See the digital wristwatch is set accurately at 8.30 am and for every 5 minutes it is losing 2 seconds. So in 1 hour how many minutes are there? In 1 hour we have 60 minutes. So in this 60 minutes how many seconds will the watch lose? See for every 5 minutes it is losing 2 seconds. So for 60 minutes how many seconds will the watch lose? For 60 minutes the watch will lose 60 into 2 by 5 or I can say it will lose 24 seconds. Okay. In 60 minutes the watch will end up losing 24 seconds. Now from 8.30 am to 6.30 pm what is the time difference? See what are they asking? They are asking what time was indicated on the watch at 6.30 pm on the same day. So from 8.30 am in the morning to 6.30 pm in the evening, what is the time difference? It is 10 hours. Right? In this 10 hours time, how much uh, time will the watch lose? See, in 60 minutes or in 1 hour, I can say the watch is losing 24 seconds. So in 10 hours, how much time will the watch lose? It will lose 240 seconds. Now what is 240 seconds in terms of minutes? It is nothing but 240 divided by 60 which is equal to 4 minutes or I can say that in 10 hours the watch would have lost 4 minutes. So when the actual time is 6.30 what will be the time that the watch will show? The watch will show it as 6.26 because it has lost 4 minutes right. So it will be behind by 4 minutes. So when the actual time is 6.30 pm it will show 6.26. The correct answer for this question is option E, 626 pm. A clock loses 5 minutes for every hour and another gains 5 minutes every hour. If they are set correct at 10 am on Monday, then when will they be 12 hours apart? So this question is based on clocks which gain or lose time. How will we approach such questions? What is given here? A clock loses 5 minutes for every hour. Another clock gains 5 minutes for every hour. Okay. And it is given both the clock are set corrected 10 a.m. Okay. So we have two clocks. Let's take it as clock 1 and clock 2. So at 10 a.m. both of them are showing the same time. 10 a.m. Correct? 10. They are set corrected this time. Now what is happening? The first clock. Right? So this is your actual time. Actual time now is 10 a.m. And both the clocks are set at 10 a.m. The first clock is losing 5 minutes for every hour. So when the actual time is 11 am, what will be the time shown by clock 1? It will be at 10.55. Similarly, when the actual time is 11 am, what will the clock 2 show? It will show 11.5. Basically, it is gaining 5 minutes every hour. This is losing 5 minutes every hour. Similarly, when the actual time is 12, what will clock 1 show? Again, so again it will lose 5 minutes in the next one hour correct or when the actual time is 12 clock 1 will show the time as 11 50 clock 2 has to gain 5 minutes in every hour so when the actual time is 12 what time will clock 2 show it will show 12 10 see every hour this clock is losing 5 minutes so in the first one hour it has lost one five minutes. So in the next one hour, it will lose again another five minutes. So it will not show 11.55, right? It will show 11.50 because it is losing again another five minutes. That is, it is going behind by another five minutes. Here, it is gaining five minutes after every hour. So this is how the timing between the clocks will be. Now, let us say if the time is actually 1, uh, uh, 11 a.m., 12 p.m., right? 12 p.m. Now if the time is actually 1 p.m. Now what will this clock show? It will actually show 12.45 and this will show 1.15. So if you see the difference between the time of both the clocks, if you look for at 11 a.m., what is the difference between the time in both the clocks? See the difference is here it is showing 10.55, here it is showing 11.5. So the difference is of 10 minutes, right? Now from 11.50 to 12.10, what is the difference between the time shown by both the clocks? It is 20 minutes. Here, the difference between the time shown by both the clocks is 30 minutes. So basically, the difference in the time between both the clocks is increasing by multiples of 10.
in each step so next will be 40 minutes yes then 50 minutes then 60 minutes that is 60 minutes is one hour or what can I say for every six hours okay for every six hours the difference in the timing shown by the clocks will be increased by one hour right see for the first six hours if you see after this first six hours is over the difference in the time shown by both the clocks is one hour then again after another six hours the difference will again increase by one hour or totally the difference between the time shown by the clock will be two hours and so on yeah first for every six hours the difference between the time shown by the clock will be one hour then for every uh, another si next six hours that is at the end of 12 hours the difference between the time shown by the clocks will be two hours and so on now what is the question what are they asking if they are set correct at 10 a.m on monday then when will they be 12 ap hours apart or when will be the difference between the times shown by the clock be 12 hours that is what you have to find out so how will you do that so when see for every six hours the difference is increasing by one hour one hour and so on so when will it be 12 hours apart 6 into 12 that is 6 into 12 is 72 that is after 72 hours the difference between the time shown by the clocks will be 12 hours or i can say that the clocks will be 12 hours apart so 12 hours there is 72 hours after 10 a.m on monday is when see 72 hours is equivalent to three days correct 24 hours make one day so 24 plus 24 plus 24 is 72 so i am setting the clock right on monday morning so tuesday morning wednesday morning thursday morning so the clocks will be 12 hours apart on thursday morning at 10 a.m the correct answer here is option b 10 a.m let us look at this question now in this question what are they asking they are asking the minute hand of a clock overtakes the hour hand at intervals of 65 minutes how much in a day does the clock gain or lose so whenever you have questions wherein they are asking they are telling us that the minute hand is overtaking the hour hand in an interval of certain number of minutes and they ask us how much does the clock gain or lose in a day for questions of this type you can make use of a formula which will help you arrive at the answer faster so the formula is as follows if the minute hand of the clock overtakes the hour hand at intervals of m minutes of correct time the clock gains or loses in a day by 720 by 11 minus m into 60 into 24 by m minutes so if you remember this formula solving such questions will become very easy so what are they saying here in the question given here they are saying that the minute hand of the clock overtakes the hour hand at intervals of 65 minutes so what is the value of m here m is nothing but 65 just substitute that in this what will you get 720 by 11 minus 65 into 60 into 24 by 65 or that is nothing but 5 by 11 into 12 into 24 by 13 which is equal to 1440 by 143 which is equal to 10 10 by 143 minutes now the answer that we get okay when we apply this formula if the answer that we get is positive that means that the clock gains okay time in a day so here what are they asking how much in a day does the clock gain or lose so remember whenever you are using this formula if the answer is positive that means that the clock gains if the answer is negative that means that the clock loses so in this case i am getting the answer as positive so that means that the clock is gaining right so the correct answer here will be 10 10 by 143 minutes gain option a is your correct answer whenever you have questions wherein they are asking that the minute hand is overtaking the hour hand by certain number of minutes so if you are asked to find out how much in the day does the clock gain or lose directly you can make use of this formula and arrive at the answer